the start of the camp and um, it's already starting to take shape. The three people have um, sorted their sauce out already and it's only been here like two hours, three hours and uh, yeah it's cool, it really is, check this out. Well I thought I'd get um, a brew station sorted out for all the boys when they turn up and all I've got in there is the inserts for the uh, Norgies emptied out with the uh, relevant condiments inside. Got a little torch under there for when it's um, dark later on. Comes with its own little shelf. Got a Norwegian air full of hot water, so pretty uh, nice and quick for a nice cup of tea. We've got the DB um, 4x4 set up just to uh, keep all the rain off if and when it does come. We've been pretty good so far, so it's all good. Just um, set the 9x9 up over there with a little help from our friends. <laughs> so, um, yeah, many hands make light work, it's a good rule of thumb. And guess what? The paras are turned up. Oh yes, the paras are here. As I said, we do have um, a few special forces boys here, so uh, forgive me if I don't want to appear on camera. But nine by nine's up, and I've got um, a ground sheet there, which is loads of those um, parachute wraps sewn together, nine by nine, so it fits inside. It's pretty dark in here, but we've got a table there. This was going to be for Sandy of Jack Law Knives for his um, communication stuff. But um, I'm not sure how he feels about it because of um, there may be some thunderstorms due. So he's a bit worried about the antenna getting struck and all the rest of it. So um, it's all looking good. Here's the BOV there with the fly sheet on the back. Um, some kits centralised for a few mates of mine. There's that great breathable lung with this little entrance there. A fire stack, all the rest of it. Guess who this is over here, look. <laughs> how we doing? You know who this is, boys and girls, isn't it? He's only got a few subs, but after this, he's gonna have thousands. <laughs> good to see you, mate. And you, and you. Thanks, all good, for, mate. thanks for organising this weekend. And, uh, no problem at all, mate. Yeah, it looks like it's a, it's a beautiful spot and yeah. very friendly people so far. <laughs> you wait when it's full up with loads of people farting all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some earplugs for the snoring as well. So. <laughs> well, we're off on a bit of a walk now. We're going to see um, Sandy and Marty Cuff and a few others. They're camped up quite away from where we're all set up in the woods. They're going to be field dwellers, I think, for this evening. So, uh, we'll catch up with you soon when we find out where they are. When you've got a fireplace. Yeah, even though they're there. Do you like my new fireplace? <laughs> Your new fireplace? Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, oh, really check it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a range cooker, mate. That's what that is, isn't it? It's perfect, mate. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's Sandy. <laughs> you can look at Cozy it. Cozy fur, Dan. Only for the fur, Dan. Check this out. Sandy Jack Law has come to the rescue and uh, this made me a quality sheaf. He's put his little maker's mark on the back and there it is there. I like, I wanted Sandy to do the um, the up and over um, cover for the knife because when I had that Chris Kane survival knife for a little while, the one I gave away, I just love the idea. It's so, it's so fail safe. The knife is not going to come out of there. It really isn't. And where is position the poppers? There's no sort of all oh, going too far forward or too far back. You close it over and it fits pretty much spot on every time, which is exactly what you're after. And the knife it's just stunning, absolutely made up of it. It's a bit thinner than what I'm used to, but the positives are it's just perfect for um butchering with game really. It's just, oh man, it's made up. And I've showed it to quite a few people, Adrian, and uh, they're impressed. They really are. And the handle, it's just amazing. It's so clean and it's great quality work, mate. You should be really proud of yourself. About time where to go with it, eh? Yeah. Right, let's see how she gets on. I literally just found the first bit of stick I picked up. It's probably really dry and probably hard, but bloody hell. That's just madness. Straight through. <laughs> Man, it's a lot better than I expected. I know it's a little bit damp and a bit rotten, maybe, but look at that inside. You could do with some scales, can't it? But you can see how clean that's um, biting in there. Did that just do that? <laughs> wow. 
can see, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, that's insane. I do like this. I can't really be bothered and I don't really think it's going to be nice to go around and get some green. But that's good enough. Wow. You just feel it biting every time. Up the top. I'm going to check it out. All over the blade. It's just, uh, just ultra fine shavings. <laughs> this is, uh, let's try it back there. I think it's pretty much rock and roll all up the blade, really. Look. Mate. I think I'm going to be using that more often. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. That is an amazing outdoor knife. It's just interesting to see different setups no matter where you go. Got a sniper in this one. <laughs> I'm armed and dangerous. <laughs> or should it be I've got arms and I'm dangerous? <laughs> and he's got a Dutch team man in there too. Right on the side of the vehicles. Hey, yeah, Russ, look. More shih tzus. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Frankie loves oh. the camera. Hello. Yeah. They're cool, aren't they? <laughs> well, guess who's here, look. The terrible twins. Can you see anything beyond that tree there? <laughs> look at this. There he is. Guess who this is? Yeah, it's just the housewife's choice. <laughs> Welcome back. Wish money, funny. Splendid. <laughs> yeah. It's all good, mate. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful Gorgeous. weather. Gorgeous. Yeah. It's nice and cool. It is, mate. It's not too bad at all. And uh, there's Armour Cockroach with his uh, mobile tuck shop, getting things underway. Somewhere out there is someone else. Well, Roach and uh, Lone Wolf have just turned up. They should be here shortly. Oh, look what I found. <laughs> oh, someone's cut out a purpose-made chair with a back piece. That's cool, isn't it? So there's the brew station there. As we had before, and I'm just going to set up just there, not too far away. And um, all's good in the world. I'm trying to do some filming before it gets too dark because there's literally, you know, you walk 20 feet and someone wants to chat. And <laughs> as good as it is, it's just hard to find time to do stuff. But we're getting there. We're getting there. And um, tomorrow is going to be a great day when everyone turns up. Um, I've got no idea how many people are in this woodland at the moment. Um, I'm guesstimating about about 20 to 30 in this woodland and probably the same in the field right over there in the yonder. So um it'll be interesting to see how many actually turn up. Well I think it might be soon, we'll have to start thinking about fire, so let's get that sorted out. Oh, there he is. Pretty. Here's my son. I found him after all these years. Hello Dad. <laughs> I Can left I... him I left him at Quicksave, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> nice and poggy money. <laughs> <laughs> kind of give one of these and they're bloody nice mate and all Steph. They are, cheers dad. Lovely draw. Let's have a look see. Oh yes. Yummy. <laughs> Come on, <I> to Pete. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I learned everything I know about um yeah, from him, he's brilliant. But we could be at home. Yo Zed! I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Yo bro. <laughs> all it's cold in the world, bro. <laughs> put, it, put it on an annoyed Darren. Before I get it all. Yeah. Hey, oh, Garrett, that, that, that. Do you want Coronation Street? Coronation Street? Who's he play for? <laughs> 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 Don't name it, New York. The French yeah. ones aren't bad. Right? We're just catching up before it gets too <laughs> dark. Gonna be some sweet sounds coming down.
Morning, people. Sorry about cutting it short. It was a bit of a mad night, and uh, it went on till three o'clock this morning. <laughs> I woke up at eight, so I haven't had too much sleep. Um, yeah, it's just the vibe is just keeping everyone alive around here. Um, I'll show you what I'm up to at the moment. We just got um, a nice um, quick cup of tea. Oh, there it is. Didn't take long, did it? All right, now that's on the go. I want to get that um, down and uh, get the day kick started. Before the boys some breakfast. Well, there goes Quality Jackson and his uh, wee nipper. And believe it or not, I'm a cockroach, slips in that. Um, Space Age Toblerone <laughs> with his small little uh, backpack there. And Wild Soul 62 is in the alien mothership once again. Hey, you get smoked out, baby. I'm dying for that brew. Oh, mate, I'll tell you what. I'll do anything for that brew. The world's a beautiful place when you've ever one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the man himself. The one man film company. Just getting a little bit of picture of your boy, mate. Oh. And mind wise, man, it's out, out there somewhere. Morning, Funky. <laughs> Morning, boys and girls. Sorry to interrupt. I just yeah, thought I'd no get some vision. Oh, look at that. Is that me going all night, is it? <laughs> yeah, we just threw a few twigs in this morning and off it went. Wow. Nice and easy. Very cozy, bushcraft styly. Yeah. Military styly. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, mate. All good, isn't it? Well, we've had a problem with Roach's fire pit because there's just uh, not enough ventilation in there. So what we decided to do was to try the old noughts and crosses idea, just to get some air in there. But we've went a bit further. We're going to call it the Jenga stove. <laughs> it's just got enough air in there to get the flames and not smoke it all out. Yeah, look at that. Yep, it's that time again where we just do need to eat. Simple as that. So we're just going to go through all of these. The pan I just showed you is getting nice and hot. So once that's starting to smoke a little bit, the, um, the oil is going to go in there. Once that's nice and warm, yeah, we're ready to have some uh, nice bit of breakfast. These sausages are that good. They really are. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Mate. Where's we eating the sausage? That's the door, V. You have to go, have to go. Sir. <laughs> Proper sausages. Proper sausages. <laughs> Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausages? <laughs> I think we're uh, looking good. You know it's all good. Damn, you know it's good. Best thing about all your sausages, they're all organic and local too. None of that blown in from bloody New Zealand all that way. This should be enough to feed us a lot. Smells disgusting. Who's going to want to eat that? <laughs> So uh, what are you doing there, my friend? <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm going to put some Vaseline in the straw and it's going to be a sealed unit so that uh, you've got kind of contained Vaseline for fire lighting. That's about it, really. Great so, idea. Uh, what I'll do is a cut to size. There. Then what you do is you get your pliers and you uh, just Hold it at the end there. Get your lighter. Melt it a bit. 
and then quickly move your pliers to the end and crimp it basically. Yep. Yeah. All right. Then what you do? So the heat's just welding it together. Yeah, you can't really see. Yeah, that's, that's perfect, mate. Yep, it's yep. just crimped to the end. Then. Vaseline, get a splodge of it, put it in my uh, cup. Moving over here. Yeah. So you put that on there, just going to heat the um, Vaseline up to make it easy to transfer into the tube, yeah? yeah? Okay. It makes it into uh, liquid. It doesn't take too long to do that, does it? No, and you have to have it because it's flammable, so it reaches a point where it starts to uh, combust. And there she is in the pan there. Just get it warm enough to heat up and take it off and the residual heat will keep it warm just right. Then you end up with, can you see that? Yep, that's perfect, yeah. Take your syringe. Okay. So you've actually got it all in a syringe now then, yeah? So then that is now a syringe full of Vaseline, which quickly, because you can't hang around. Yeah, you've got to do it quick while it's still warm, yeah? Then stick it in and inject. But you don't get carried away and do the whole lot, you just do right. you just leave a about an inch from the end or something. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah. Much, much. Then what you do is crimp it again. Yep. And uh watch it. It's got a bit of Vaseline so it's gonna be a bit flammable. Yeah, no careful. Oh, so then you just crimp it. No, no. You just hold it again as it cools, it's crimping. <laughs> and that. And that is it. That is it. That's cool because you can now put that in your little survival tin, in your bug out bag, all sorts of things. And it's not going to sort of go everywhere, is it? No, nope, that's it. This is Zed from Zed Outdoors, and some of you don't know this, but is a very, very famous actor. And you won't believe some of the stuff that he's done. Check this out. So, uh, how does it feel to be famous, mate? Well, you know, it's, um... <laughs> 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 I'm thinking you're going to get some YouTube. Oh, well, I've just been given. Oh, really broke my heart, bless her. My youngest fan. But just check this out to see um, what this community is, what it's really about. People just turned up, don't know who they are. Oh, it's just absolutely, when you walked it's up, absolutely first of all, brilliant. Like, oh. It really is top yeah, Of course, I remembered Zeb because obviously a lot of stuff I've been following your Quality Jackson's arrived. And then of course linking up on Facebook. With we yeah, Nipper. Quite a few conversations. That's right. So then you get more used to the face, more yeah. regular, maybe the majority of people looking around. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's Zeb. <laughs> well, when you first came out, it's like, oh, right, okay, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> just watch <laughs> <not> you in. <laughs> You see the camera there? You see the little picture? They've got so many fobs. This lovely little lady just give me one of this. It's very, very nice. Thank you very, very much. You have a nice one? It's good, isn't it? And look at the costume. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely peachy. Nice Thank one. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 
I'm in the club now. That's all right, the animal car for itself. Hey, Rich. Stick with me. We've got to try and get a shot. Let's press it on here. Mike's got to stay where he is. 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 Mike's got to I'd be a bit. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Plenty of crunch, that one. Have you got some trial no. bars? <laughs> trial bars. <laughs> and have a look at them. Have Ooh, we got any, yeah. I've got any yummy oh, bars at all. Bars, any yummy bars? bars. Mm. Oh, it's wrong. Betty Louise. We've got some nuts and stuff. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But one of, those, one of the coolest things, it's a proper fat wood all the way from Oz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is so flammable, you won't believe it. Rob, I think the funky kept all the £50 notes you put in the bottom. Yeah, exactly, we needed this. That's for animal tendencies, I'll give that to him when I'll see him later on. Thanks, Rob. Good night, mate. Cheers, Rob. Thank you. Look at that nice Wow, look at that. You've got a tripod going on there. A nice little fire pit going there, ready to be stoked up and juice other stuff. Old uh, desks from work. <laughs> Dutch two man tents. Very good tents, in my boys, aren't they? Yeah, I saw yours. Another one here as well. Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> We've got some up yeah. on the field as well. Oh, yeah. We've got a basher on the top there, a couple of chairs. Yeah. Very, 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 very simply done. It's not hard, is it? Get the stew going later. Yeah. Stews, stews for the boys. We're having stews tonight as well. Yeah, we forgot, we forgot our dumplings. Oh no. <laughs> ask our cock coach, he'll make you some. And I'll tell you what, they Blue. swell up like huge. <laughs> well, this is um, Mind Wise Man's little setup, aka Maverick Out of Order. <laughs> as, um, as we all know and love our, our dear mate Pete, he likes to get all his kit nicely organised. And he always has a strict regime to exactly where it's all packed so he knows where it all is. So when it is dark, you ain't got to put a torch on, he knows where it all is. And he's going with the old, uh, the MTP um, basher there, British Army issue. And I'll tell you what, when you look down on these with the leaf fall, they are pretty, pretty good actually. They're pretty good. They're quite light against some backgrounds for shade. They do stand out a bit, but as I said, when you look down, they're very, very good. <laughs> you look. <laughs> You're the first one I say I look smaller. <laughs> well, we've got a little hammock, really complicated. <laughs> Look at that! That's insane, isn't it? But everything's all uh, all underway there. Couple of guys kicking back. Oh, whoops! It's a uh, hammock time out in the woods. Wow! It's beautiful weather, man. This is just ridiculous, isn't it? Homemade top. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Not by me. There we go. A couple of likely suspects. <laughs> oh, very, very cosy. Bashers as well, kit centralised, forward on the go. That's a cool looking set out there, isn't it? Very nice. Not bad the first time, is it? Done well, mate. Done really well. Yeah, that'll keep the rain off and all the bloody sun off. Cool. Lovely, lovely. I just can't get over this weather. <laughs> yeah, it's turning out nice. Beautiful. And another cool set up. There's so many people out here, you just wouldn't believe it. Well, this is a, a nice little set up. I do like this. Reminds me of Mick Animal Tendencies. You've got water procured, fire kit all sorted and organised. A very neat, simple lean to configuration shelter. Very nice. That's a very low profile sleep system in there. Very, very nice. I do like that one, whoever owns this. We're trying to go around and film as much as possible. They've signed up for it, you're okay. <laughs> but all having a good time, lads, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. Really, pretty, really good fun out here yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, it's good. You learn so much as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, we're on the hunt for the mysterious Mr. Z. Here he is. We've got Marty Cuff as point man. There he is. As we go past it. the secret miniature Hobbit stealth shelter. Oh, it's amazing how someone fits in there. <laughs> but look who we got. 
they got a fine posse of crazy people. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very cool. There's lots of surplus kit. Obviously cheap and strong and very, very nice. Firewood all done. Yo, bro. Howdy. <laughs> all the way from Canada. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Long time ago, though. Hey. So you don't usually write. You know what that is, aren't you? <laughs> you, remember, you? Anyone know this guy? <laughs> yeah, usually people YouTube and Google like, what a woman and woman action. This is camera on camera action. <laughs> you get excited, are you? Check excited. that out, bro. <laughs> Do you know what, Mr. Funky? I want to thank you on camera. Oh, man. You, Do you got, know what? You got some food. <laughs> uh -huh. Seriously, All thank best, you man. so much. It's a very, very considerate of you. You're welcome, mate. No problem. It's no use to me because I like my meat. <laughs> <laughs> thank you once again. Very kind of you. Man. No problem at I all. I showed the guys what you gave. It's uh, very generous. Yeah. You're having a nice time out here. It's great. Do you know what, dude? You're an absolute star for putting this on. Oh, Seriously. man. Every, and do you know what? Everyone's we... the star. <laughs> you know, in all seriousness, you and the other guys. And working with you one at a time, I think from all of us we can say a huge thank you for everything you've done for the community. You know, seriously, no, seriously, yeah, well, seriously. That's the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, you know, I oh, you were the bro. first guy I saw on, on YouTube uh, in terms of a British prepper doing your thing, and that was it. We were hooked, man. Mate, and, uh, that's my pleasure. I'm just trying to encourage people to get off their asses and enjoy life while it whizzes by. You know, so. But seriously, but yeah, you're yeah. a busy guy, you've got responsibilities, but yet you're still taking time to do your fancy. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's a big passion, so, you know, you've got to sort of uh, get that balance, but I think we, we get along quite nicely together, so, yeah, it's great, bro. Well, thank you once again, man. I know the whole community would just share me on that. <laughs> man, Zed, it's a pleasure, mate. Top guy, mate. Thank you very much, brother. You're welcome, mate, yeah. Take care, brother. And you, bro. Yeah. It's another good power of mine. Yeah, he's, he's currently helping me do all my electrics from my shed. Yeah. Tom's an issue, bro, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is, is what it is. Yeah, constantly working. Constantly <laughs> we just, working, we just work our ass off too much. We're getting there slowly. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, All right, mate, we're just going to have a quick whiz around and yeah, see the cool, setup buddy. of what's going on. This buddy. And uh, we've got. Uh, that one's me, Darren. This one's you, is it? Yeah. The crazy hammock guy. He lives in the trees. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, that looks proper cozy. Got the little lantern going on there. Bergen off the ground, nice touch. Yeah, this is cool. And we've got another place over here. Just trying to really whiz around and get all this done. We're trying to get everyone, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to go to the fields where all the vehicles are. There's more people up there. But it's uh, it's blown me away, to be honest. Yeah, it really, really has. Um, I, <laughs> I really didn't believe all these amount of people would turn up. As I said, I may have said earlier, it's been such a crazy weekend, pretty manic and pretty chilled all at once. Um, it started off really bad weather and I personally believe that we'd be lucky to get 20 to 30 people here. But the way this is looking, the amount of different people here, there's well over um, 100 people here, definitely. I mean, I'll, pff, it'd be crazy to guess, I'll, I couldn't, but it's brilliant. We'll carry on and show some more setups. Yeah, the British Army DPM Basher, they're bigger than you think. And uh, it's a nice little floating bed in there, mate, isn't it? Very cool. I don't even know what. Oh, it just literally, everywhere you look, there's setups, isn't there? It really, really is. Let's have a really quick look around this one, because this one looks quite interesting. Watch that hole, Darren. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be going down there. Break a leg. <laughs> Break a leg. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I've showed a bit of this on video before. Yeah, do you know what? This looks like a, a quite well thought out established site actually. It's a very good location. You see, it's all going on there. Sort of a fire effect going on. Um, that DD tarp, the camera is quite nice on that, isn't it? Yeah, that's a... Oh, and I remember this tree when I was down here before. Remember that willow maker I told you about? Yeah. Was this the one? This is the one. You don't want that landed on you. <laughs> Nasty, innit? That'd give you a headache. And it's rotten, look. Yeah, very bad. Very bad you for your health, mate. Well, there's another couple of um, Dutch two man tents over there. Yeah. We've been at. I've seen more of them now. Yeah, they're it's really popular now, aren't they? Many no one can seem to find those um, Dutch two man tents anymore. I think they. I think they cleared them out. <laughs> but we've had a big stock as uh, got rid of a lot. That's a lovely little setup in there. I spoke to the guy yesterday. He's Good lad. Yeah. He likes um just new into making knives as well, so he's he's got the bug. Young chap. Young chap. Yeah, I think he's a young chap. 
But um, it's going to take so long to walk around all this woodland because it's quite extensive. And there's just setups everywhere. And I'm not exaggerating, there really is. Yeah, and it's the, uh, the last remnants of the bluebells. I don't know if the wind's making an interruption. I'll put my finger over the mic to try and block it out. It's all good. Now this is what I like to see. Young kids are really, really uh, taking an interest. Look at that little fire effect. How cool is that? And obviously we're right, if I just pan around, we're right on the edge of the field where you've got chuck loads of wind coming down here. So you really do need to stop your wind blowing it too much. That's pretty neat. I like that. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. See, it's good that people spend their time doing this than just playing the bloody Xbox, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 And a nice little setup in there. All cozy. It wasn't as windy when it was initially set up, so. No, it's all living and learning, mate. No one's going to know it all. There's the truck. That's been here for a while now. That's from sleeping in the tiny little Dutch man. That's the old parachute net still there. Cutting a mates of mine, kicking back. <laughs> you can hear him. You can hear him. All the setups there. Free for everyone. <laughs> oh, mate, more than happy. And I've left these here, but I don't think anyone knows, but <laughs> maybe we should put a sign on it. These are free to whoever wants them. You can do anything you want with these. You can put, I don't know, tinder in there, kindling, ball bearings, tie it around your waist, do whatever. I mean, they're all free. The little 9 by 9 tent here. And if you look at this 9 by 9 tent, you see that little piece of string looking right in there. That goes right up there, right up there. And it's so high you can't even see it. Right, check this out. The Morse comm specialist transmitting all over Europe. Yeah, the comms tent. Yo, shop. No one's here. He's gone away. <laughs> you just got to come in here. Check this out. Uh, these boys have been busy. Look at this. This is proper survival stuff. This ain't no mucking around no more. <laughs> It's amazing. Yes, please, mate, I won't be long. Here he goes. A oh, star no. of the UK prepper show as well. Oh, there right he is. Here. And this guy's um, special forces, I can't really show him. Oh, it's too late. Oh, <laughs> They've oh, got everything that's been done. We've got ammo can, cookers, the whole shebang, tank tins. <laughs> mate, just, <laughs> I can't believe you guys. You've already been sat on your ass, have you? <laughs> A survival chair. That's me, we're sitting on our asses right now, aren't we? Yeah, now. <laughs> you can't sit in your ass and do all this. Man, it's amazing. Well, catch up with you guys soon. Sterling work, boys, sterling work. Well, this is Gareth BKW set up. Kit everywhere. Right, that's it. I'm going to get you for this, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. We've got the fire pits going on. Loads of firewood to be chopped up. And have one of those posed little lavu things. They're really small, but they're just right to sort of uh, keep the rain off here, you know? We've got another little uh, hammock set up there with glow in the dark, pretty much guidelines. Big stack of firewood. There's some of it left, but that was huge. As you can see in the distance, there's um, setups everywhere. Right, look who it is, guys. QualityJacksonOutdoors.com <laughs> And guess what mate, it's sausages. You can't lose the sausages mate. And look, at his made his little seat up and everything. Oh yes. A spring loaded seat. Yeah. <laughs> He's a clever guy. No shock. <laughs> and his little boys in there having a whale of a time. I think kids just thrive outside, don't they? Hello, hello. I think, hey. be, I think he must be the youngest one here, he's four. Yeah, oh bless him. Are you and your daddy sleeping in the tent tonight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, I've just come back to camp and uh, we've got a huge big vat of stew on the go there. Perfect temperature, just bubbling away as you can see. There's more beef in the bottom than there you can shake a stick at. 
fuel on the go there, ready to rock and roll. And uh, we're going to try and unwind a little bit um, and have some tucker later on. I'm hoping to get up and see Sandy and the other guys in the field for maybe an hour or so, and then try and come back and unwind, because I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> well, this is from Rob Phillips from Australia, and we're going to see what this fat wood's actually going to uh, be like in real life, if I can get it out of it. Actually stick them to the bag with all the resin on there. You see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Again, we've got the, uh, the Zippo lighter. Yeah, you've seen this before. Boys are the tubes, etc., etc. There you go. She's up. That's proper good stuff. You can half smell that burn. Look at the black coming out of it. If you can't get a fire lit with something like that, man, you could be in trouble. It's really good to have as a backup, but of course you can get that wet, pat it dry, and it will do exactly the same. It's really good stuff. Cheers, Rob, from RDP Projects. Wow, check that out. There's beautiful roaches, homemade turbo dumplings uh, on course to reign supreme. Wow. That sure tastes good. Wow. Stew outdoors. <laughs> Pretty much filled up the whole mess tin. Well, that's the first serving. <laughs> right. Uh, there are two confessions that I have to make. One is that there are 101 people in a raffle. Right. I sat watching my computer till one o'clock in the morning and I had sold 97 tickets. And I sat there till one o'clock in the morning thinking, oh, I'll just wait till the last three tickets get sold. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I went to bed. When I woke up in the morning, there were 101 <laughs> tickets that were sold. <laughs> and a couple of those people yeah, those didn't give me an email address, <laughs> so I couldn't get back to them to say, I'm oh, sorry, but you know, you, you, you're out of the raffle. So I've left that extra ticket in. Yeah. And uh, the other confession I have to make is that your prize is in the boot of my wife's car. <laughs> but she will be back for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> so I can't Ooh, give it to you right now. But I can give you uh, the beautiful Jack Law. That, uh, this was the first Jack Law I ever got a few quid together and bought off of Sandy. I sent it back to him. He has reconditioned it for me. It's the one with my name on it. And it is as it's beautiful. So uh, I can give you this uh, kind of right now. Brooke is going to uh, pick us a number. In here are 100 bits of paper. What I want you to do is pick out one number. Oh, bless her. <laughs> and tell us what it is. 79. Number 79. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's fun, kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> if anyone uh, has well, number 79, that's, that's brilliant. If you don't, I will tell you who you are. Bought the ticket too fast, but never too well. Don't drink it all in one go, Marty. Sorry. No one knows up at the point. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Okay, uh, number 79 is Jamie Wallace, and you are the winner of the prize in total. So if well you're done, not Jamie. here today, well I'll... Uh, well, well done, Jamie. Yeah, yeah, nice one, Jamie. And, uh, um, what a lot of that's kit. It. Thank you very much. One winner, great prize. Thousand pounds. Thank you very much for uh, entering the raffle, and uh, from myself and thank you. From Funky, you know, thanks very much for coming. I mean, uh, You're welcome, mate. Uh, yeah. they sold 127 tickets. A few extra people turned up on the day. There's been about 150 people here. No one more surprised than myself. 
Thanks for coming. I'm at a way with someone. Can we give a clap yeah, for Roche? Yeah. 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 yeah, thanks, mate. Thank you, Joe. Here's many more. Nice one. Yep. You don't move on much. Ah, ooh. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, guess what? Can you sing like that? Go on, sing us a song. Sing a song. He's not allowed to move a muscle. <laughs> Following all this. <laughs> I'm going to check on the cooking, everybody. I'm intrigued. Who's you do there? They just make sure everybody's okay doing their. Uh, this is what the they're doing. Right. Um, just make sure everybody's, you know, where they should be. Oh, one of them. Okay. Well, it's a hospital. Yes, Okay. So, in terms of staff, Michael. When you tell them it's a rat and they they got the they got the, the tail in the bottom of their glass. Come over they to your fire by cottage in Wales. <laughs> so the sun's just gone really smoky. Yes, that bit at the end is damp. No, that's a fire. No, that's a fire. Yeah. Shay boy. Ha 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 mm. Do you know what? That was a bit like cream crackers. Ha 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 that's what you want. Camera on. I'm going to tell you a story. Go on in. <laughs> 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 Harry the Hatchet. <laughs> Hack you up for that shit, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's, nice, so. it's, uh, it's right fighting, mate. It's a proper blaze oh, up, mate. Jeez, that's some good fun. Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> mm. Did you see the difference? Our ghost, there. <laughs> all good, baby. It's all good, baby. <laughs> Down and further. Might as well be, isn't it? Now that's a fire. Holy shit. <laughs> that's because it'll give you a bit of perspective seeing yeah. by the side of the fire. How <laughs> fucking large this bastard thing is. <laughs> yeah, we don't burn logs, we burn trees. Yeah. You want to go careful, mate, your Man's face fire. start might fall off in a minute. Man's fire. <laughs> His glasses will stop yeah, walking down. <laughs> down. Just get the yeah, it's a bit of fucking Why, well, I've just acquired some new friends from South Africa. They're coming to help me roll this up. <laughs> if that sounds anything like that, it probably don't. <laughs> but I'll tell you, many hands make light work. Amazing. I'm just starting to clear away now, get everything sorted out. There you go, bye! You're on the camera. <laughs> bye, see you later. So, uh, mate, yeah, it's been Push wicked, isn't it? It's been yeah. brilliant, isn't it? Okay. Well, this was um, found um, as we was uh, tied it up. Good friend of Colin of mine uh, found this. So, if this belongs to anyone, just send me a PM and we'll see what we can do to get back to you. Well, that was just insane, man. That really was bizarre. <laughs> this one of the greatest weekends I've had in a long, long time. Everyone's just been super friendly, um, supportive, genuinely kind. It's been awesome as our American friends say. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd just take this opportunity just to have a little quick um, walk and a talk as it were. You know, just uh, just thank everyone who attended 
and also everyone who watches and likes the videos that we all do. Um, as you probably guessed, we just try to encourage people to, to get outdoors, um, to share and learn skills together. It doesn't matter what sort of skill level you are, it really doesn't. You can have some people who's never ever been in the woods before. And you can have people who've been doing it for 40 years, you know, most of their life. It covers everyone. So, <laughs> yeah. I just can't stop smiling. Spoke to so many people. Um, I haven't had much time to uh, relax and rest, but it doesn't matter because the vibe's just so cool. It just, you, it just uh, carries you across the finishing line, you know? <laughs> so it's going to sit down on the chair. Oh, that's better. Found a nice little stump to just park my ass on. Because then um, you've got to be careful walking around there because there's so many ruts and things to trip over. And when you're looking at the screen, you can easily do yourself a bit of a mischief. So, yeah, nice to sit down. Um, the weather's been brilliant. Um, we've, we couldn't have asked for much more, really, to be honest. Um, it's been a little bit chilly in the evenings, but nothing serious. Um, it's hardly rained at all. Clear skies, all the stars last night was just. Um, it's things you're never going to forget, you know, looking up, seeing all them stars. I mean, that fire we done last night with my friend Gareth and Steph. <laughs> that was just so hot. You could just get a sausage and throw it through the flames and it'd be cooked the other side. It's just insane. It was brilliant. I mean, it's such a good time. So, uh, yeah, I think it's been a success. Um, everyone's turned up as um, thanks to Roach and myself and um, the other members of the gang personally. So, um, on the whole, it's been really, really well received, which is amazing. It's really, really cool. So, we're going to hope and um, try to do another event, the same, same plot. Um, maybe the end of September, early October. Um, we'll have to work with the landowner to see if there's any available slots we can book that in. Um, but if that doesn't happen, which it might do or might not, we really don't know. It's 50 50 at the moment. Um, but we're really going to try and get um, exactly the same done next year, probably about the same time just before summer, you know, so you've got all the blue bells and stuff. So, um, yeah, as always, just um, keep an eye on the videos and we'll keep you updated between now and, you know, the next camp, possibly in September, October, and um, see how it goes. So, yeah, I'm just going to um, get Pete on the back of the truck and take him back up to the, um, the car park to get his car, and uh, I think that's when we're done. We've checked around, and um, on the whole, the leave my trace has been pretty good. There's been a few, like, um, fire pits we've had to like kick over a bit and make sure it's been properly cold but no nothing major on the whole it's been brilliant so there it is and the sun's coming out how oh, cool <laughs> thanks for watching guys stay funky